Okay, so ready to move past all the AI hype and really get what it means for businesses like yours, for your bottom line. Yeah, and what's really interesting is this isn't some far off thing, you right, know? Right, like it's already here. It's happening now. Companies are already using it, changing how they work in ways most people don't even realize. It is. It's like we're at this turning point almost, you know, instead of those flying cars everyone promised, we've got. Algorithms. Exactly. Algorithms, making decisions, analyzing all this data. Heck, even writing reports. Probably better than most interns could at this point. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Take the Galaxy S24, for example. Mm -hmm. It uses AI for real-time translation. People use it every day. Right. Don't even think twice about it. Exactly. And that seamless integration, that's what's happening inside businesses, too, just on a way bigger scale. So it's not even about if companies should be using AI anymore. It's how. How do you actually use it right? What are the benefits companies are already seeing? One of the biggest is in customer engagement. AI chatbots that give you 24-7 support, personalized, instant. No more waiting on hold for an hour just to get a simple question answered. Exactly. That kind of efficiency is a game changer, especially in today's world where everything moves so fast. And it's more than customer service too, right? Like AI can analyze these huge amounts of data crazy fast. I mean, how does that change how businesses make decisions? It's like having, I don't know, a whole team of experts working around the clock, finding those hidden patterns and trends in the data, things that would take humans forever to find. So it's like having a crystal ball, but for business. Kind of, yeah. Better marketing, more accurate sales predictions. It can even help you spot risks before they become problems. So not just doing things faster, but smarter too. Almost. Too good to be true. Are there any you know, real world examples of this where it's actually working? Oh, absolutely. Look at finance. They're already using AI to catch fraud as it happens. Wow. No way. Yeah. Saving businesses and people like us millions. Makes sense, though. AI can look at tons of data, see those tiny details humans might miss. Where else are we seeing this kind of impact? Healthcare is a big one. AI can analyze medical images, help doctors diagnose things faster, more accurately. That could mean catching things early, getting people the right treatment. So it's not just business, it's people's lives getting better too. This is where it gets exciting, right? For sure, and this is just the start. What AI could do in healthcare, with new drugs, personalized medicine, it's huge. Clearly, this isn't some sci-fi movie anymore. It's here, it's changing fast, and it's already transforming businesses. But I'm guessing it's not all easy, right? There have to be downside challenges too. Oh, definitely. Putting AI into practice, it's not like you just plug it in and it works. There's a lot to consider to get it right. So let's get into it. What are the biggest hurdles for businesses when it comes to actually using AI? Implementation is a big one. It's not as simple as installing a new app, you know? Right, it's not just plug and play. Exactly. To really make AI work, you need a plan, a serious investment, and often, you're talking about rethinking how your whole business works. Like rebuilding your engine while the car's still running. That's a good way to put it. You can't just stop everything while you figure it out. And then there's a whole talent thing, right? Finding people who actually know AI. Huge challenge. There just aren't enough people who can build these systems, put them in place, keep them running. Yeah, it's such a specific skill set. Yeah. How are companies dealing with that? A lot of them are focusing on training, getting their current employees up to speed. They already know the business, right? Makes sense. And some are working with schools, universities, trying to, you know, build that pipeline of future AI experts. Right, because it's not just the tech stuff either. You need people who get the ethics of it all, mm -hmm. right? To make sure it's used responsibly. Absolutely. That's a whole other layer of complexity. You've got to watch out for bias in the AI, protect people's data, be transparent about how it's being used to make decisions. Yeah, because if AI gets it wrong, it's not just a business problem. It could be a problem for everyone. Exactly. The stakes are high. And that's why we need clear rules, regulations to guide how it's all used. Which is tricky because it's changing so fast. How do you regulate something that's constantly evolving? That's what governments are trying to figure out right now. How to encourage innovation, but also protect people. So we need rules that make sense, but also can adapt as AI changes. Exactly. And that's where working together is key businesses, governments, researchers, all of us. To figure out the ethical guidelines, the best ways to do things, right? And make sure those rules keep up with how fast AI is changing. It's a huge task, but we've got to get it right. So we've talked about the tough stuff, but what about the good stuff? Yeah. What's the upside for businesses that actually figure this AI thing out? 
the possibilities are pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. I mean, AI has the potential to change everything about how businesses work, make them more efficient, more productive, more innovative across the board, every industry. So we're not just talking about like doing things 10% faster, right? Yeah. This is a whole different ball game. Right, it's a complete shift. Imagine AI that knows what customers want before they even do, or supply chains that adjust in real time. No waste, total efficiency. And decisions, big decisions being made by AI faster and better than we ever could. Exactly, it's like, remember when we talked about the new industrial revolution? Yeah, yeah. This is it, but instead of steam engines, it's algorithms. And while some people are worried about, you know, AI taking jobs, it's also going to create new jobs, jobs we haven't even thought of yet. Right. Like every other big tech shift. The key is don't try to beat AI, figure out how to use it. What skills will matter then in this new world? The things AI can't do, critical thinking, creativity, being able to solve problems, you know, the really complex ones, and dealing with people, that emotional intelligence, those are going to be more valuable than ever. So it's like finding that sweet spot where humans and AI work together and the result is even better than either could achieve alone. Exactly. And that brings me to, I think, the most important point from all of this. Okay, I'm listening. The future of AI, it's not set in stone. What it looks like, it's up to us. The choices we make right now they matter. It's not just the tech itself, but how we use it in our companies, in our lives. Big responsibility. Huge. Will we use AI to make things fairer, more sustainable, yeah. or will it just make the problems we already have even worse? That's the question, isn't it? It is a lot to think about. Well, that's our deep dive on AI and business. We covered a lot today, everything from how to use it to the challenges, the ethics, what it means for the future of work. Hopefully you're walking away with, you know, not just a better understanding of AI, but a little excitement for what's next. It is an exciting time. It is. Until next time, keep asking those questions, keep learning, and keep exploring the world of AI. We'll see you out there.